Finally guys, now we can emulate Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on our Android devices. Let's get started. Yo what's up guys this is Atrix here and finally the Egg Ennis Simulator version 4.0 update has now been released on Play Store. It has Pokemon Scarlet and Violet now playable. I'll be showing you guys the best settings, we'll take a look at all the new features. So let's just go ahead and click on the search bar in Play Store and search for Egg Ennis Simulator. So this right here if we go to about section you'll see what's new. Performance optimization, improve FPS in game, reduce power consumption. This this was a big problem for many people. Uh, they were reporting that while emulating games in Egg Ennis Simulator, the device used to get very hot. So they have reduced power consumption, optimized fast memory page unit, and improved compatibility of speed mode. Supported Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Fixed part of game models which flickers and crashes. Okay, added new Mesa driver, optimized audio, and added unlimited FPS mode. So this is a nice feature. Because if you have a device which is powerful enough to play or run games at more than 30 FPS, then yeah, uncapping the frame rate by enabling that option will be pretty cool. So, okay, let's click on Agree. Later, we'll click on these three lines. Go to My Center and let me log into my again a simulator account. I am logged in now. Let's go back and let me just go ahead and go to Game Settings and add your data directory and also XCI slash NSP storage location. So in global there is no new setting okay. So guys this is very funny it's been around 10 minutes but for some reason my egg and a simulator has turned into grey screen. I don't know what's wrong with it but yeah this is truly very buggy and honestly speaking guys I wouldn't recommend you guys use this simulator. I am just covering this update because these two games are finally playable but if you want to use it on a regular basis I don't recommend this simulator at all. It's filled with bugs but anyways. Let me just go to VIP section and as you can see it's literally crashing bro. Anyways guys I have 8 days of VIP left but yeah that's about it. Let's just go ahead and open Pokemon Scarlet. Let's go to game settings and take a look at the gameplay. Here we go these are the brand new game settings. Texture compatible mode I don't know what it does. I have selected it to custom settings. Uh, let's just enable it and see how does the game work okay. Speed mode I won't enable it. Multi threaded shaders okay video decoding okay. These are the best settings for running Pokemon Scarlet or Violet on your Android devices through Egg and Simulator. So let's just go ahead and go back, click on touch control and try out this game. So the shaders will start compiling as soon as you see this, uh, our game should successfully start. So presented by Game Freak. Uh, Pokemon Scarlet. Let's just go ahead and click on the A button and all right guys here we go Pokemon Scarlet can now be 100% emulated on our Android devices But still again as I said before I don't recommend you guys use the again simulator because it's just too unstable It's buggy uh, in terms of emulation It might run the game very well for like let's say 30 minutes then your device may heat up and you will face further issues but as you can see the game is working at stable 30 fps there are no visible frame drops uh, it's pretty smooth but we are inside house so i'm guessing that uh, that's the reason why we are getting stable 30 fps now if we just go ahead and take a closer look at our character you will see that the texture is not proper so we'll just go ahead and click right here and make sure that we enable unlimited fps and dock mode now let's just go ahead and tap here and Let's see how much FPS are we getting. So we are getting around 35 FPS. That's the most uh, which my device is capable of. And if we just go ahead and take a look then the texture are sharper now that we have enabled dock mode but the issue is still present. So we'll just go ahead and uh, try moving forward. And the FPS has dropped significantly 23 FPS. But the game looks so beautiful guys. Pokemon Scarlet being emulated on an uh, Android device is pretty cool. So I'll be uploading a gameplay test of Pokemon Scarlet running on Android devices. That video will be coming tomorrow. Till then thanks for watching. Make sure like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Goodbye.